To begin with Tone, I decided to start building the four main battery turrets. Tamiya includes an interesting polycamp system to where you can replace barrels with either an elevated mold or a depressed mold, depending on what your preference is. When installing the barrels, I decided since there are four turrets, one turret will have both barrels elevated, one will have both depressed, and the other two will switch between which barrel is elevated and which is depressed. But that's not the end of the polycap system with the main battery turrets. They also include the polycap for rotating the turret, which will simply be hidden within the barbette, and a peg that runs out of the bottom of the turret will connect to this, so the turrets are not glued in place on this kit. With the turrets having been completed, it's time to work on the hull. The first part of assembly for the hull is installing bulkheads to support the structure. Much like the turrets, the rudder is on a polycap system, so within this kit, you do not glue the rudder when the time for installation comes. The two halves that create the upper hull are molded in a rather straight line, so this means that it's quite hard to bend into place, so I would glue it amidships and then work my way forward and aft. While the two halves of the upper hall dried, I began painting the main deck, which is linoleum with a series of brass bars running across the ship. This means that each bar needs to be painted individually. The installation of the propeller and propeller shaft is much like any other kit, so it's quite straightforward, but something I wanted to mention is the propeller shaft itself is actually a metal part, so what I did is I glued it to the shaft support that will also hold the propeller. With all work on the lower hull having been completed, it's time for the installation of the main battery turrets, and that is all I'm going to be doing on the kit for today.